Hi, Guy here, Weathertight Roofing. Um, I want to talk to you about who you guys might be hiring, or if you go on to Google and you search for a roofing company, it's a good thing to look at location, the maps. You know, you need to know who you're hiring. Is this a company with some financial solvency that has a location, an office like this in the background? that they work out of and they house their materials and have their staff come and check in and clock them. They have regular staff. Or are you hiring somebody from a P.O. box? Or somebody working out of a residential neighborhood who has no investment in your local community? Um, as well as backing up your warranty. You know, you hire somebody at a P.O. box What's stopping them from being gone tomorrow? You know, you're buying, almost like buying an automobile, but you're putting a roof on your house. You want somebody that is gonna be doing that roof that you know is going to be there tomorrow, next year, a couple years down the road, because if you have a problem and you call them, you wanna make sure they're there. If they're just working out of their house or out of a P.O. box, what stops them from up and moving to Phoenix, Arizona. You go to call the number here next year and say, hey, my roof blew off, and the number goes, I'm sorry, this number is no longer being utilized. It's not available. Um, you need to, when you do a search on Google or Yelp or one of those, look at their address. Get Google Maps. Does it go to a shopping center or does it go to a place of business? Um, financial solvency of the company that you hire is very important. Do they carry general liability insurance? Um, they all, we all say insured, bonded and insured. What's that mean? Okay, so they have a bond basically that guarantees payment of the materials. Okay. Um, insurance, okay, they got automobile insurance or workman's comp because workman's comp's mandated in California. Would you let somebody borrow your car that's not insured to drive your car? Why would you allow somebody on your roof that's not insured to protect you in case something went wrong on the job? Whether they burned your house to the ground or somebody fell and got hurt. You need to make sure that these people are financially solvent, they have a place of business, and that they carry the proper insurance. And general liability is the insurance you're looking for. Bonded insured really doesn't mean a whole lot. But it's just information. Um, replacing your roof is a high dollar expense. It's an investment in your house. It should improve your house and its uh, uh, value. But if you can't find them next week or next year, what good is it? So anyway, it's just information, food for thought. Guy Schember here, Weathertight Roofing. You can find us at weathertightroofing.com on the internet or give us a call at 951-929-0557. All right? So Thank what you. kind of protections does Weathertight Roofing have? What kind of protection? Well, we carry $2 million in general liability. We have our workman's comp and we pay all our workman's comp. Um, despite the industry, very few do. Um, all our automobiles are insured. All our guys are insured. Our guys are licensed or, you know, they're all take tests to say that they know how to do this and we have safety meetings constantly. Um, we go over everything, but mainly, main thing, the big thing is general liability. We carry $2 million in general liability, so if something's to go wrong on the job, you're not stuck footing the bill, which is what's going to happen if you hire somebody that doesn't have general liability and they burn your house to the ground you know, you're out of luck. They're going to file bankruptcy and you're on your own. Thank you much.